I'm Dr. Sumana Kola Ramachandra, working as a Chief of Liver Transplant and Consultant HBB Surgery at Columbia Asia Referral Hospital, Eshwantur. The complications could be immediate complications or delayed complications. The immediate complications after liver transplant surgery uh, would be bleeding. Once uh, the, the patient is shifted back to the ICU, there can be bleeding because sometimes the liver takes a while, little while to start functioning so the, the, there is still coagulopathy that means the blood is still thin and so the bleeding chances are there and the second could be infections which is uh, one of the common uh, complications that we see post transplantation because of uh, immunosuppression and this infections can be milder form of infection or severe form of infections and the infections usually are treatable and uh, try, we try to treat them with antibiotics and the other complications would be biliary complications which could be in the form of leak which is early complication that happens uh, or it can be a stricture which is usually a delayed complications. The other complications of liver transplantation would be that the, there is a primary non-function of the liver that means the liver which is uh, transplanted may not function. This is more common in patients who undergo uh, cadaver transplantation and the primary non-function means that the, the liver doesn't function in the new individual. So that means it's a liver failure that happens. The other complications can be minor complications like wound infections which can be treated with uh, dressings or with antibiotics. The delayed complications that we see post-transplantation again would be infections. It could be infections in different forms. Uh, viral infections is what we see in the delayed uh, complications. There can be bacteria, the smaller, the milder form of infections can become severe in these individuals because of immunosuppression. And uh, there is the immunosuppressions that we give themselves actually can cause complications in these individuals. That is the CNIs that we use as an immuno immunosuppressant medication actually can cause neurotoxicity that means they can develop uh, seizures or they can have some tremors the, the tremors can be milder form but some people can have seizures also which is treatable and other complications due to medications would be that they have renal toxicity that means the kidney can start get, getting affected especially we see them in patients who already have some amount of kidney damage or in a delayed form due to long-term use of these medications they can have renal injury that means knee damage also. So the other delayed complications that we generally see in post transplant patients are they have these viral infections uh, it can be HSV infection, CMV infection so the fungal infections they can develop fungal infections after transplantation or some people in due to long term immunosuppression can also have cancers like say they can have skin cancers or they can have lymphomas developed due to immunosuppression medications. These are in general the complications that we see but the other complications that we generally see is that they can have diabetes which can be persistent or patients who have diabetes already can have worsening of their diabetes because of these medications. So this generally we call this as metabolic syndrome where patients put on weight if they don't have good lifestyle modifications. So they can have hypertension, they can have blood pressure, they can have deranged lipid profile. These are all medication induced. So the medication, these can be controlled if the patient has a good lifestyle. They maintain a healthy living wherein they sort of do exercises and they control their dietary habits. So these are the medications themselves can be adjusted also by the doctors in such a way that if it is causing complications, there can be a reduction in the levels of these medications that we give or we introduce newer medications. So these are generally treatable complications of the medications that we see.